Hey, what's going on everybody? Lights here. We're going to be talking about another zombies challenge today to help you finish your zombies mastery. Today we finished up the mission critical category by completing the last one that took the longest, which is called zombie tourism. This challenge is going to get you 2,500 XP as well as the calling card, which I kind of like, and it requires you to complete each type of objective at least once in Tonga, Royal Hotel, and Shino Numa in a single match. Now, upon reading this, I had actually had progress on it before I started focusing on these challenges from the first couple games I played. However, upon reading this, it's very confusing because at first when I read it, pretty much sounds like you have to complete every type of objective, all three types of objective, at least once on all three maps in a single match. And upon playing, that wasn't very possible until very, very, very high rounds, which as you know, this game gets very difficult very quickly. So I started testing different methods and this is the easiest way to complete it. Unfortunately, it is down to RNG as to what maps you get in what order, because you know, the locations when you spawn in in the very beginning do change every time you do an objective. So I will pop up a picture on the screen screen now of the way I wrote it down to keep track of it because the way you need to do it is you need to complete at least a blitz a transmit and a harvest and you have to visit at least once Shino Numa Hotel in Tonga then you can exfil and then you can do it again on the screen you can see a piece of paper with my handwriting of how I wrote it I wrote down Shino I wrote down Hotel and Tonga and then underneath blitz transmit and harvest under each one and as each one of those popped up I cross the line through it. Okay, so I'm interjecting into my own commentary here post edit. If this audio sounds a little different, that means it's recorded after the initial commentary. I just want to clarify that in the picture of my writing, the steps that I wrote in order of the maps is not necessary for you. All you have to do is write down the map name, uh, Shino, Tonga, and Hotel, and then Blitz, Transmit, and Harvest underneath it. Make sure you play at least one objective at least once and each map at least once of those. The steps underneath it is just to show you how many steps it took me to get all three. So that's not necessary for you to worry about. Sorry for the confusion. Also, I wanna go ahead and stress that you do not have to complete a unique challenge on each one of the maps. You do not have to do blitz on one, transmit on the other, and harvest on the third. You can do blitz on two of them and transmit on the third, but as long as you do a harvest anywhere else in the Stalingrad area of the map. It now, for demonstration on how long it took to show, I wrote down in order every objective that we did. On average, it took about six or seven rounds to do. I did have one that took me until round 13 <laughs> to get Shino Numa. It just did not want to appear in the objectives. Um, and then the last one actually was really quick because the first map that we got on the last run that we needed to do was Transmit for Shino. And then I had Blitz on Hotel. And then I had Harvest on Tonga. So the RNG was in my favor for the ninth one to complete this challenge. For you, you might get lucky and get some very, very fast games like that, or you might get some, some long haul games, but that is the way to complete this. I wanted to clarify that because in the wording, it is a little funny. It does sound a little strange. However, um, it's not as hard as it sounds. You just have to do it nine times. So hopefully that helped you out. If you have any other challenges that you need help with, please make sure you comment down below. I will do my best to address those. Please check out my social media links down in the description down below. Please come follow me on Twitter. I'm always looking for people to talk to over there and often find people to play with if you tweet me and interact with me. If you're looking for control freaks, make sure you use my discount code lights for 15% off your order. Subscribe if you're new around. Until next time, I'm Lights. Peace out, have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.